Hello, I'm Jay from Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, and I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Knowledge Fest event, and I'm excited to show you the new Soundstream Reserve V2 radio. Come over to the back, I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna take you through all the features. All right, so I'm sitting on the bike. I've got the radio turned off because what I want to show you is how fast this radio turns on and how fast it boots the wireless CarPlay. You guys with the GT radios, it takes you like three minutes to get Bluetooth. The GTS radio is roughly 30 seconds to get Bluetooth. This isn't just Bluetooth. This is wireless CarPlay fully active. But I also want you to see this vibrant, bright screen, this new QLED, and this new startup screen that shows the motorcycle going across. So the bike is on. Here's our new startup screen, showing off that 8.3 inch screen. It's so huge, looks awesome. Well, let's see how fast we turn on and get our CarPlay up and active. All right, so here's our new home screen, phone's connected. Boom, we are in CarPlay. Check out how bright that is, how colorful. It's gonna be very easy to see in the daylight. It's a 1000 NIT brightness, which is way brighter than our other radios. I can't wait to get one of these back where we can power up a GTS next to it, an SI next to it, and compare that brightness. But I think you'll be blown away with how much better it is. All right, so I'm gonna back up to our home screen again. Let's go over every one of the features. Again, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, built-in iGo Primo navigation, built-in Bluetooth. We also have our gauges through our data link Maestro. So about 50 different gauges from your bike can be pulled up. And we have a new motorcycle info screen. So let's go to all those apps. All right, from here we have everything that it'll do. Yes, it still does radio. Somebody actually called and asked, does it still do FM radio? Yes, it does. Uh, and here's our new motorcycle info screen. I wanna show you that. I really like this layout. I like it quite a bit better. We have very similar, we've got a bar across the top like the older Street Glides had that will show us things like our turn signals or we can also see our headlight, whether it's high beam or low beam and so on. We have this information screen laid out, what I think is a better way. If you had tire pressure monitors, it's gonna show front and rear, as well as we've got battery voltage. Now this is, this is gonna have some more probably software updates. I think the compass is leaving. There's a few things gonna be changed. Let's back back up to our home screens, our apps again. Uh, one other big, big thing, our joystick will now go through every screen. So on the SI, it would only go through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto screens because of the faster processor they are now able to actually take the thumb controls and go through everything. So we can go to each thing and then we can turn it on. So huge feature, wireless headset capability. So here's our screen for that now. We can connect not only a Sina or a Cardo headset, we could also connect pretty much any Bluetooth in-ear to it. So if you've got your Cardo, you've got your Sina, you can still talk to your group, but you can also choose on here, both for the, the rider and the passenger, if you want to send the audio from the music or the nav or the call to your headset. And you can pick what all of it or just part of it on your passenger. You're not gonna get called because we're only gonna send the call to one person. We're not gonna try to take both of them in. Let's go back out here to home. We're gonna go to our apps. We're gonna go back to our settings. Actually, let's do this. So I'm gonna take you to our EQ now. So we do have a 15 band EQ. We also have 3D surround mode. I asked the guys how it worked. They said they have no idea, but it sounds great. So <laughs> a really, really cool feature because I know a lot of you guys love the idea of having all this adjustment, but you don't necessarily know what to do with it. And so they're gonna have some preset EQs and some preset settings that you can try. They're gonna make your bike sound a lot better. Brightness, we've got the ability to turn the brightness up and down because it is so bright. When it is all the way up, you may have to actually dim it. Well, let's at the right place here. And here's your call routing from your headset to your speakers, as well as day and night mode. All of this is on this particular screen. Now volume is gonna be done from your thumb controls. So as we just showed it on that screen, but you're gonna use your thumb controls most of the time. Built-in Sirius XM input, two USB inputs, everything you ask for in a radio, it is here. And this is a pre-production model. So as awesome as it is and as great as it's working now, I know as they use it, they're going to do some software adjustments and make it better and better and better. 
So let's power up nav here. So here's our GPS navigation powering up. Just a beautiful, vibrant screen. Uh, super, super excited to get one back and go through all the testing with you. Everything we ever wanted in a Harley radio is in this radio. And I've got another thing coming up. It's called HD Vision. Watch our next video. I'm going to show you that too. It's a new camera system that works with this and the other Soundstream radios with the camera input. So uh, an awesome new feature that works great on V2, but if you already bought a bike that has a camera input or you already bought the radio with the camera input, like the SI or the HDHU9813 RG or SG, you can use it on that as well. So continue to watch, watch the other ones as they come out. We're gonna have more information about this radio. We're gonna get one back to volunteer audio. We're gonna test the brightness. We're gonna test the internal amp, class D 400 watt amp. That is a huge amount of power out of a radio. So even you guys that don't wanna necessarily buy an amplifier, it's gonna make your factory speakers sound so much better than they do now. And if you wanna upgrade speakers, it's gonna have enough power to run them without having to buy that amplifier. So beautiful, beautiful radio, awesome value when you calculate all of these awesome features. And with Maestro in it, we're gonna be able to retain those factory boom amplifiers. We're gonna be able to retain fader. We're gonna be able to do these awesome thumb controls that are fully programmable. It's gonna do everything you ever wanted in a radio. All right, so first look at the V2 radio in person. I'm blown away. It's everything they said it would be, everything we got in the teasers and all the videos and the pictures we'd received of it. But here we are live with it and it meets all those expectations. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Volunteer Audio to find out more about this radio and everything else new in the Harley Audio world as it comes out. We'll also show you how to install it. We're gonna show you how to use it. So after you make a purchase, you're gonna get the most out of it because you're gonna know how all of these awesome things work. When you buy from Volunteer Audio, you're gonna get lifetime tech support along with these step-by-step -step install videos and product videos that are gonna help you. Give us a call at 1-844-30-AUDIO if you wanna know more about this radio. If you want to build a package around it with amps and speakers, we'd love to do that with you. Now, this radio is currently on pre-order. We expect it to be shipping the first week of April, and we still have them available at volunteeraudio.com and the link above for you to pre-order your radio. Please like the video. It moves it up in search results. It helps Volunteer Audio because more people will see our video. And again, subscribe so you'll see more about it as we release more information. And the new HD Vision camera system is absolutely amazing, and I can't wait for you to see it also. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, God bless.